Hi, welcome to Org Group's training on unlocking AI potential at work and beyond. My name is Bobby Hunter. I'm a senior associate director at Org Group, and I'm a member of our AI task force. As part of this training, we want to help you understand the benefits of increasing your practice with AI. We want to help you expand your perspective on what tasks with which AI can support. And we want to help you practice replicating AI prompt templates that can be easily reproduced both at home and at work. Now, in our last training that we posted, that was the power of prompts, and we encourage you to check it out if you haven't watched it already. As a quick review, prompts allow you to instruct the large language model on what data to prioritize. It considers a whole host of information, and every prompt you give it is telling it what information to focus on. And this improves the accuracy of the response. So for example, without a prompt, you might get a few options that would fill in the blank here, but with a prompt, you are able to instruct it to the proper option that you are looking for. Now, why use AI outside of work at all? It seems like a work-driven product. Well, practice builds AI literacy, and AI literacy leads to innovation. AI literacy in this case is your ability to speak to what AI tools are out there and how they are used and what they are capable of doing. And by building that understanding, you are supporting the ethical usage of AI because the ethical usage of AI is based on using it with knowledge, using it so that accidents don't happen, using it so that the product that you achieve is achieved exactly the way that you expect and that you're able to talk about how it got there with others. That innovation that's created from AI literacy is what drives business value. So when we hear these AI products claim that they can increase your work efficiency and they can increase the quality of your work product, that is driven by the innovation and that innovation comes from your AI literacy. So the same prompts we use for personal tasks at home are helpful for work tasks too. And as part of this training, we're going to categorize those tasks into three separate categories. The first being simplifying complex topics, uh, enhancing your creativity, and then acting as a sounding So let's start with simplifying complex topics. On the left, we have a list of prompts that uh, you could use at home in your daily life as part of this practice. And on the right, we take those prompts and transform them into something that uses the same base prompt word, but is something that would be more appropriate for a workplace setting. So for example, at home, you might ask the AI to explain the basic rules and strategy of chess. While at work, you could ask it to explain how search engine optimization can improve your article's visibility and help you improve your article's search engine optimization overall. I'm no expert on SEO, so having the AI function as a starting point using its knowledge base to help provide a baseline education for me and then pointing me to sources online that are I can do a deeper dive in is really helpful. And similarly, in chess, there's plenty of guides online that it can point me to. So the key word here being explain, which is why we've bolded it, and you'll see that moving forward throughout this training, that is like what provides the most context to the AI tool about what you're trying to accomplish and helps it tailor its response to meet your needs. Here's another example. What is the difference between a will and a trust? At work, you can apply that same idea to what is the difference between a data security policy and a data life cycle policy. Maybe you want to learn a new skill. How can I improve the audio quality of my TV speakers? Um, at work, how can I improve the visual layout of my PowerPoint slides? Or maybe you just need help tackling something that requires multiple steps and you just need help thinking through what all those steps are. So help me calculate the proper nail placements for the frames in a gallery wall. You got to measure the right heights. You got to measure the right gaps. You want it to look nice at the end. AI can help you think through all of those steps. At work, help me calculate the number of 18-inch carpet tiles I'll need to cover our office space. Maybe it's easy if your office is a rectangle or a square with all right angles. Not so easy if it's got some diagonal walls or angular walls, whatever. The next topic we'll look at is enhancing your creativity. So here, let's start with the words generate 
build and develop, a little bit less inquisitive and a little bit more brainstorm oriented. So generate a list of recipes that only use the following ingredients that are in my refrigerator or pantry. What's great here is you're saying to the AI to be creative and think of all the possibilities that work within these established parameters. At work, you can establish that same creativity within parameters, generate a list of IT peripherals that may improve our productivity that are not in our current inventory. Build a four week exercise plan to help me improve my breathing during cardio exercises. Again, you're, you're, you're listing a goal. So it's giving the AI parameters and it can help you pull from you know, the wide breadth of sources that it has in its knowledge base to tailor that output to what you're trying to accomplish. At work, build a four-week learning plan, five minutes a day to help me develop my skills in Excel. There's your parameter, five minutes a day. It can't be something that takes more than five minutes to learn, so it has to be something that's digestible. It's going to deprioritize tasks that would take more time to learn than five minutes and prioritize quick wins for you. And then our last example is actually what uh, OpenAI said last summer. It was one of their most popular prompts. Um, develop a fantasy story with heroic characters that is appropriate for a child's bedtime reading. Here, you're kind of not really introducing any parameters. You're saying to the AI, run wild. At work, you can say, develop, choose, develop a choose-your-own-adventure story exploring workplace conflict situations where the reader can navigate different tactics and resolutions. Maybe when you're developing this on your own, you're only able to really speak to workplace conflict situations that you have witnessed or been involved in for some reason. Here, the AI can help expose you to other options, things that maybe aren't as common in your personal life, but are common in other workplace settings that you could benefit from including in your example. Our last category here is acting as a sounding board. And while this may not be immediately what you think of as what you can use AI for, asking AI to take on a persona and kind of respond to you with that persona, not necessarily working with you, sometimes in a way working against you and how you talk with it can be really useful. So for example, role play as my landlord as I try to negotiate my upcoming rent increase. What's cool about this is that the AI is going to think through all the ways that someone can respond to you and give you the opportunity to navigate those responses before you have that conversation in real life. At work, maybe you're, you have an upcoming annual review and you want to ask for a promotion. It's not a perfect replication, but it just gives you the opportunity to practice, and that can be very helpful. Another way that you can use this as a sounding board is review my party invitation to flag any missing information my guests may need. That's a low stakes example. A higher stakes example might be review our office's emergency plan to flag any missing procedures or items we should have in our inventory. Um, and then the last example we'll have for this training is revise this email to my child's teacher to be more empathetic but still professional. You're telling the AI, I have this perspective, I want to go in, I want to say this, but I know it won't be received well unless I say it in this specific tone, in this specific way. At work, revise this all staff email to make it more succinct while focusing on the key takeaway. This is where AI can help you kind of say, all right, based off of what you wrote, it seems like you're really trying to drive this point home. So let's kind of trim the fat and focus on this. And then you can look at it and go, you're right. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. Or you can say, no, no, I actually do need this context and put that back in. So we're at the end of our In terms of our learning outcomes, we've reviewed the benefits of expanding your AI usage, increasing your literacy and innovation with using the tool. We discussed new ideas for AI usage, expanding your perspective on what tasks AI can support and identified how templatizing AI prompts and focusing on keywords that drive the AI's response uh, allows you to use them for a variety of tasks, both at home and at work. The key takeaway here is that the more you experiment with AI, the stronger of a user you will be. And this will allow you to advise your teams on how to leverage the tools and enhance your uh, enhance using the tool in a professional capacity, expand the knowledge across your team, and enhance your own personal outputs from AI. I hope this training was helpful. At Org Group, we're always here and excited to talk to you about how you can increase your AI usage, help you build that AI usage with your company.
in an ethical and productive way. Let us know if you have any questions and talk to you soon.